Morgan's Truffles. We like to do it on the train today because we didn't have time to to go to the club. Anyway, this is a review the review of West Ham United v Tottenham Hotspur Upton Park. Um, well, it was um, it's, it's just such a disappointing night. To lose by Spurs makes it even doubly disappointing. We was awful today. We had a striker up front who can't score goals, and it's been like that now for two seasons basically. And we tied him up on a five-year contract, which is totally outrageous. I, I, I really can't see what Zola's thinking of here. I'm getting to the stage where I think Zola's substitutions are just just completely wrong, rubbish. And I mean, he's in Spain and he's always doing them. Matty Everton can't even get on the bench no more. Is he injured? Nobody knows what's going on. It's, my prediction was totally wrong today. I did think we'll, I did think it'd be one or, or maybe a bit of two one to us. But to lose two 0 was a shocking result. Yeah, he took off Obair. Yeah. The only winger we had on the pitch, but no one out on the left, didn't he? Yeah, I mean, and he, he, he gradually worked his way through the midfield, didn't he? Yeah, that's right. I mean, I just don't know what, I just <laughs> he's don't an idiot, he, isn't he? Yeah, he is a complete idiot. I don't know what he's doing. I mean, you, 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 we, Fubera is not the not the cleverest of blokes you can have on a team anyway. He's not that good, and but he was the best we had, and he's a wide player. He does get the cross in now and again. So why take him off? Put Martin Noble on, who plays normally in the centre of midfield. Puts him off on on, on the right, and I mean, that, that was wrong. And then all of a sudden, all of a sudden he took off Mullins, uh, who was also a midfield player, and then followed Mullins by Parker. So he's left with Pagami and Noble in midfield. It's <laughs> <laughs> just absolutely crazy. That a, a, a total decision by Carl and Cole stayed on again for 90 minutes. And Carl and Cole stayed on for 90 minutes. It was absolutely shocking. Unbelievable. Well. It's unbelievable. And uh, if he was still there now, to score a goal. Uh, what? Hour, hour he, and a half he, after the game. He, he's been taking shots against dustbins, hasn't he? He, he, and he, 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 he keeps rattling scored. it, doesn't he? Yeah, he's he's, he's, been, go, he's been told he's got two more goes before yeah. the floodlights go off. Yeah, and he, he hasn't scored yet. He can't beat the dustbin in goal, and he's having shots against it. And it's but this, this, this sums it up. We've got Carton Cole on three goals, yeah. Ashton on two, who's virtually dead. <laughs> Dean McKayley scored two in one game. Yeah. Everton scored two in two games. And that's our goals. That is our goals. That is how rubbish they are. Yeah, I uh if we if we don't sell the club by January or he gets some strikers in with no money in January, I think the only way we're going is down at the moment is we are a club who can't score goals. The club who can't score goals is just gonna go down. You, you, you don't mind losing but yeah. Tottenham weren't even good either, was they? No, they were, they, they were rubbish too, weren't they? Yeah, they, Let's were. Be honest. they wouldn't make it at all either. No, and they get beat by like, poor Tottenham side. Made it even worse. <laughs> it's it's found that losing the Tottenham if they're really good, but to lose to them when they're rubbish. And it's just the fact that it looked like Wiz was open 0 0 is the best result we can possibly get today. We just even put that on. It'd be interesting to see what this Chris Foy bloke, the referee, why he just allowed that own goal by Janus. Yeah, that was be uh, interesting to see that on TV again, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would be. Yeah, it would be interesting to see why why is that that just now because uh, it was down our end and we couldn't really see anything wrong with it. So it would be interesting to see on Saturday if, why it was just now. If we'd have gone one new up at that stage, it might have made the game different. I still don't think we'd probably scored another goal, but we never know. It might have been a bit different game. But nil nil half time, and then second half we just got gradually worse and worse. And then we left with four strikers and two midfield. Do you think we win many games with, with four strikers? Four four strikers and two midfield. You're not going to win yeah. games with that. But one one funny thing happened before the game, though, didn't it? When um, Umpo, the program king, yeah. had a point scored over his program, didn't he? Yeah. And yeah. I, I and everyone was worried about his program. Yeah. And poor old Jock. He was actually drenched, wasn't he? Yeah, he was. <laughs> he was actually drenched, wasn't he? Yeah, we, was, uh, all we was worried about was on post programme, yeah. weren't we? Yeah, well, I, I swapped mine out, see. Yeah, with, with his tonight. I don't want him. I don't want him upset for the game. But. No, no, that's why. So you, you probably did the right thing there because if he'd have gone in the game with a wet programme and after a shocking game, uh, he would have been distraught and probably he probably had uh, jumped off the nearest bridge. I think on the way home. <laughs> he, he was soaked up, wasn't he? <laughs> yeah. He's had, he had icicles coming off his leg. Yeah, what the best time to do it just before you go into the game. 
but they, they wouldn't, wouldn't really anything too positive today, was it? No, really? no, there was no positives come out that game. Which Bellamy was did Bellamy try was his okay, best yeah, without really doing okay. a lot, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, that's right. Upton didn't play well today either, so yeah, there was no positive at all about that game. They all had a struggling game. And, well, we, we are on free for, I think, we're now on. Unless we can get a buyer in January. I think there's only one way to go. The, the, the good thing about it all is, this is my last game before Christmas Day, which actually I'm quite chuffed about, because I've, I've had enough of them. Yeah, Because yeah, they're, they're, yeah. they're just getting worse and worse, they're rubbish, aren't they? They are rubbish, yeah, yeah. But, you know, you've got to make the effort to go to as many games as you can, you know, I mean, that's what you know, the show is all about, really. You're reporting on every game, every home game. So, you know, you, you've got to make the effort. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'll, 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 I'll be uh, I'll be back for the Stoke game. H hopefully, all be fresh from a nice Christmas and three points. Thank you very much, and we'll see you then. Unless you have got one last word, he seems like he's got one. No, no, that's it. No, that's that's it for me. No, that's it. Uh, thank you very much. I'll see you uh, the next the next game. Yeah, you'll be at the Villa game. I I, I can't make that one because yeah. I've I've got prior engagement. Yeah, we will thank do very much. we will do a report for the Villa game, but it won't be live. So, yeah, so, we're, uh, we're doing a pre-recorded one, a little bit like setting greasy. We're going yeah, yeah. to go for that for a Christmas special. Yeah, a Christmas special. Yeah, it won't be live one. All right, thank you very much, and we'll see you then. All right.